Welcome back to the South African Morning here on ENCA. Always very sad to report on drownings this time of year, but it is often uh, the case around the festive season. Police divers, uh, we understand, have recovered the body of an 18-year-old uh, from Lake Imzengazi uh, in Richards Bay. Let's get details on uh, what happened there and also an update on some of the other incidents uh, as far as South Africa's waters are concerned. A very busy Craig Lambanon from the National Sea Rescue uh, Institute joining us. Now, Craig, I always want to wish you uh, a happy festive season and Merry Christmas, but every time you and I speak over festive season, uh, it's about drowning. So, Merry Christmas for this year, but you and your team have been busy. What happened at Lake Imzengazi? Yeah, good morning. So what we understand is that uh, two um, um, uh, family members, uh, uncle and his nephew, were fishing. They'd been fishing there for five days. That was their fifth day uh, when the uh, teenager got into difficulty and slipped underwater. Uh, in Australia, Richards Bay, emergency services and police responded. Uh, police divers were able to uh, locate and recover the body of the teenager underwater. Obviously, condolences are conveyed to that family but a very uh, sad incident. And uh, we are obviously stressing to everybody, especially on a day like today, to have safety top of mind. What is the, the situation? I don't know Richards Bay all that well, but when we hear about uh, someone slipping into the water, is it a case of uh, it being a, a dangerous body of water or is this a case of someone who's unable to swim, which is, I know is something that is very uh, close to the NSRI swimming education. Do you know uh, if uh, this victim was able to swim or was it because of water conditions? Yeah, so it's unknown at this stage because the exact circumstances. Police have opened an inquest docket um, and they'll investigate what, what actually happened there. But this is a, a, a weir at an inland dam and obviously at the moment the concern is because a lot of beaches will be closed um, uh, on certain days or some beaches on the Southern Cape that are closed until after the new year, um, a lot more people will be going to inland waterways, even your swimming pool at home. We're asking for everybody to have a safety conscious mindset and in particular uh, for children to have a responsible adult supervision uh, overseeing uh, children while they're in the water swimming. We have on our webpage at www.nsri.org.za, we've got a, an identity system. It's a monitoring uh, 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 lanyard that you can wear around your neck, uh, that you can have a, a dedicated safety person watching over the children while they're in the water, sort of in half an hour shifts, because there's sometimes confusion as to who's actually watching over the children while they're in the water. Mm. So the priority is to have somebody dedicated, not distracted by their cell phones, not distracted by a conversation um, uh, or uh, anything else that they physically watch. Drowning is a silent affair. Uh, it happens quietly. A person slips underwater. They're simply trying to breathe. Um, so somebody has to physically be watching the children while they're in the water. And that's the priority. And also, if you're going down to the beach, make sure that you're at a beach where and when the swim only where and when the lifeguards are on duty and in between their safe swimming uh, zone flags that they post on the beach. Yeah, it's always wonderful advice. And it's, I actually did go take a look at your website, Craig. It's a very, very clever way of, of, of allocating responsibility to someone uh, to watch children. In fact, not just children, anybody uh, should have an eye out uh, with anybody else in the water. www.nsri.org.za. Uh, uh, Craig, before I start saying goodbye to you, uh, any other incidents to report around the country? It's always important for viewers to know so that they know where the dangers uh, might be with other bodies of water? Yes, yeah, so if you're going to the beach, make sure everyone on the, in the family know where the lifeguards are on duty. If you get separated from your family member, go to the lifeguards for help, and that's where you can go and find, in particular, your children if they go missing. Uh, that's where the children must go to, to seek help. But also boaters, paddlers launching onto water, Make sure that you've downloaded and using our NSRI RSA Safe Tracks app on your mobile phone. It's a free app. As soon as you turn it on and plot your course, we're already watching you on our screen. We're watching where you're going. Uh, we can see everybody that's in the, on the water at the time. And if you get into the emergency, you press the button, shows us exactly where you are, takes the search out of search and rescue. Mm. And it's really, it's, it's an in, immense, incredible um, a, a safety measure for any boater, paddler or sailboarder to have if they're launching onto water. 
All right, Craig Lambert on. All the very best to you and the NSRI for the rest of the festive season. Uh, I know we're building up to New Year's, which is always a worrying time. Head over to the website, by the way, nsri.org.za. Uh, it, it's great to have the website, but you might want to take note of those emergency numbers. Craig and the team have listed by province almost every major uh, swimming area uh, in each province and the emergency numbers that go with that. So go over to nsri.org.za. Uh, uh, Hopefully, of course, you never need it. Uh, but just like insurance, you might just have to use it uh, one day.